Hey guys, welcome to gardening update and I hope you are doing really very well. Now in today's video, I am going to show you how to grow the gomprena plant from the seeds and like my other videos, you are going to see lots of flowers at the end of the video. So let's begin the procedure without wasting any single second. So these are the seeds of gomprena and I collected it from my own plant which I grew last year. To sow the seeds, I am going to use a normal plastic container but you can definitely use seedling tray if you want to. I also have a few drainage holes on the bottom of the pot and make sure that your pot has at least one drainage hole so that water can drain out well. I am just keeping some broken pieces of the clay pot on the drainage holes. To sow the seeds, I am taking 80% of cocoa peat and 20% of fami compost. Next, I am just filling the container and then it's time to sow the seeds. At the time of sowing the seeds, if possible, please try to keep a gap in between two seeds so that later you can pull out the seedlings much easier way. Next, cover the seeds with the same soil and make sure that seeds are at least 3 to 5 mm deep inside the soil. My cocoa peat was already somewhat wet and that's why you can see it's already looking moist but still I am just going to give it little bit water and then going to keep the pot directly on terrace and now you can just keep watching and I am going to give you all the updates. Today I am going to transplant the seedlings but anyway please note that you don't have to wait this many days to transplant the seedlings. You can do it much earlier and I was waiting since I was busy in some other project. To transplant the seedlings I am going to use 6 inches of plastic container and there I am going to grow one plant. But please note that you can grow gomprena in much smaller container if you want to. For example, here you can see the pot is really quite small and here you can see I grew two plants in such a small container. But still they were blooming and this is the footage from the previous year. Gomprena does well in any kind of soil but I would recommend you to use sandy soil and avoid the clay soil as much as you can. For my potting soil mix, I am taking 40% of normal garden soil, 30% of cocoa peat and rest 30% of family compost. Next I am just going to transplant one seedling in front of you and I hope you can just follow me. Alright, transplanting is done and it's time to water. Then I am going to keep the pot on terrace and there it's going to get whole day of sunlight. So you can see my plant is about to bloom and today we are going to do one very important thing. Today I am going to pinch my plant and by pinching you can make your plant look much more bushier. 
However, I would say that if you don't want to do it, it's absolutely fine. You don't have to do that. But if you want to pinch, you can do it, let's say, one or even twice as well. For my plants, I am just going to do only for once. In monsoon, most of the plants get lots of fungal attack and that's why it's always a good idea to use the fungicide on a regular basis. For my plants also, I apply the fungicide which is SAF. To use the SAF, you can take 2 grams, that would be bit less than half teaspoon, then mix it in 1 liter water and then apply on your plant once in 10 or even 15 days. Here you can also see that the plant is looking bushier and it was looking quite leggy before. So this is the result you can expect if you pinch your plant. My plant is doing quite well as you can see but anyway this is not the end. You are going to see more flowers at the end of the video. So let's discuss about few most important things. So first one is, let's talk about the fertilizers. See, uh, gomphrena plants are not that heavy feeder and if you fertilize them once in a month, that's going to work absolutely fine. For my plants, I just used NPK 191919 and for that you can take half teaspoon, mix it in one liter water and then directly apply on the soil. If you don't want to use NPK, you can use any other organic fertilizers and there are many more fertilizers that you can apply. For example, you can simply apply either vermicompost or even compost cow dung powder. For the sunlight, you already know that my plants were on terrace so they were getting the whole day of sunlight. But even if you are able to provide them, let's say 4 to 5 hours of direct sunlight, it would be fine and they, they would be blooming really very well. While watering your gomphrena plants, please be extremely careful. Always wait and let the top soil dry out in between watering. If you are going to overwater your plants, you would be killing your plants in just next few days and let me show you what happens when they get too much water. So here you can see one of my plant which is about to die. So this thing happens because of overwatering and that's why I'm saying you please be extremely careful. Now this is the same thing that that may also happen if you bury the main stem and this is the same thing which I referred in the previous part of the video. That's why please don't bury the main stem at the time of planting the seedling and always be extremely careful while watering. It would be impossible to save your plants if they reach this stage and that's why once again I am saying you please be careful. So it's time to see the results and here you can see it's blooming really very well. Similarly, here is one of my other plant which is also doing quite well. On this container, I grew two plants and you can see both of them are doing also very good. Here you can see lots of flowers and I hope you are liking it. Now let me inform you that things that you need to do if you are expecting such flowers on your gomphrena plants. So the first thing what you need to do is grow the gomphrena seedling in small containers. So you can use either 4 inch or 6 inch and then wait and let them bloom properly the way you are looking right now. On second, take a bigger container let's say 10 inch or 12 inch. Next, grow more than a single plant in that container. This is the same thing I did. I used a 10 inch of container and then grew three plants together. As a result, you can see it's looking absolutely beautiful. Now here is a very important thing that you need to know. See, don't use a much bigger container, 10 inch or 12 inch at the early stage. Because if you do, they might take quite a long time to produce the flowers. 
this is the month of the August and if you want to grow the gomplena you still can do it because they bloom till even December and if you do the same thing like me you would be able to enjoy the blooms in a much short time and you would be also getting lots of flowers. So guys this is all about how to grow the gomplena from seeds and at the same time how we can get maximum flowers on our gomplena plants. I hope you found the video useful and if you did please don't forget to like it, share it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching the video. I truly appreciate it. Have a great day and enjoy.